News from the stock market first with Elio D'Amato at Stockopedia. Elio, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Raf, and I'll be listening in on that as well. Uh, very interesting. Uh, but nonetheless, it was a tech-fueled uh, tech rally in the U.S. last night, but no one really cares. This is one of our smaller sectors uh, over here. Uh, the All Ordinaries is currently down around point. 2% at the moment. Um, and remember, we are awaiting our inflation data due uh, a little later today in about 60 minutes. So that'll probably govern where sentiment goes from here on in. Uh, in related news, and I hate to say it, actually I don't, but oil prices fell again last night after their worst day in two years yesterday. Uh, gold prices also touched record highs. Even iron ore saw a bounce in uh, its price in Singapore trade, though nickel, zinc and lead went the opposite way of most other base metals who rose. Uh, they were helped by 10-year Treasury yields in the US, which fell ever so slightly. Uh, the Aussie dollar, that keeps falling, uh, now at 65.6 US cents. Now, that is another 0.2 cents lower than this time yesterday. And our best sector this morning is materials with that iron ore price bounce, helping the big miners there. Our worst is consumer staples, and I'll explain why in a moment. Um, in the big finance news of the day, as there are lots of rats and mice uh, announcements uh, if you look hard enough. Um, our largest lithium mineral uh, producer, sorry, uh, Pilbara Minerals, uh, they slashed their profit forecast, not just because of the rubbish lithium price, but they are also putting their Ngaju Oh, Ngungaju, sorry, I should say, uh, plant in WA on care and maintenance. Uh, it will also halt a midstream demonstration plant that it was building with environmental firm Kellex uh, until the numbers look better. Now, the stock is actually up around 3.8% uh, at the moment, but that may also be due to uh, some short covering as it had been the most shorted stock on the exchange. Uh, Spark New Zealand, they cut its uh, full year earnings, capital expenditure, and dividend guidance for the year ahead, citing slower growth across the ditch in New Zealand, but we already knew that. The stock is uh, relatively flat as we go to air. Uh, we also heard from supermarket giant Woolworths, who has reported uh, growing group sales in the latest trading update, but they did warn of some tough uh, periods ahead, in particular the coming half year. Now, that is how you do PR, but of course, investors disagree with me on that. Uh, the stock is down 5.36% at the moment, and Coles is down in sympathy as well, hence why it is our worst performing sector today. Uh, and uh, software development contractor Data3 has told investors at their AGM that everything is on track with the AIing of the world. Uh, there was a sigh of relief because the stock uh, doesn't talk much at initially jumped, but it has settled back uh, down, uh, currently up 2.5% at the moment. And RAF always take the second exit. And uh, that was all in our market open. Thank you very much. It's Elio D'Amato there at Stockpedia.